Hey you guys, Deanna Tori here. How are ya? Um, today I want to talk about Lion Alul. So we are going to continue on our terpenes journey. We're going to talk about Lion Alul. I've actually, I found a couple different articles today. Um, kind of had to go into two different ones. One is from Sarah Naturals. And then the other one is going to be from Dutch Passion. And I'm going to kind of pop back and forth just to piece it together um, in a way that I prefer. <laughs> uh, so Linalool is a terpene that um, it's a very stress relieving, um, sedating. So what I tell my patients is um, I kind of generalize it like this. You know at lavender, right? So Johnson & Johnson, um, baby, you know, let the baby, soothing baby sleep, um, bath time. We use lavender for a lot of things. Um, we consider it to be soothing. So Linalool is, um, Linalool is a terpene that is in lavender, and um, it's also a terpene that's in marijuana. It actually has those same sedating effects um, from the marijuana plant. So whenever you're in a medical program, um, a medical state like we are here in Oklahoma, the linalool is going to be something that, um, that you would wanna recommend for, let's say, or that you would wanna search for if um, you are high anxiety. Uh, linalool is really, really good for anxiety, lowering anxiety. Um, Linalool is also really good for um, quite a few other things. Um, insomnia is one, um, you know, kind of if you find a strain that's a little bit richer in linalool, it's going to be a, a lot more sedating. Um, all right, so let's dig in. What is linalool? Aromatherapy experts swear by the soothing effects of lavender, but the real trigger is linalool. You'll find this delicate floral terpene in all sorts of lavender-based aromatherapy oils and cosmetics. In its natural state, linalool is found in more than 200 flowers and spices besides lavender, such as coriander mint, cinnamon, and rosewood. Linalool even appears in some fungi. It's so widespread that people can consume over two grams of linalool each year in food. In cannabis, linalool is best known for its relaxing, stress relieving and mood boosting effects. Linalool is categorized as one of the 10 minor terpenes produced by the cannabis plant, meaning it's available in smaller quantities than some of the major terpenes such as limonene, myrcene, and pinene. Um, significant medical benefits are derived from linalool, making it one of the top terpenes of interest to patients and to those seeking to balance their endocannabinoid system in an effort to achieve health and wellness. Linalool conveys a very formal, a very floral aroma of lavender and spice um, found in Amnesia Hage, um, Hyduk. Oh, so the real name for sour tangy is Hyduk from Aurora. Um, lavender and Raphael, um, Master Kush and Kush. Linalool is found in 200 other plants. Oh. This is the Dutch Passion, so those are some of the plants that they have um, that contain a really high linalool. Those are some good genetics from them. Linalool is found in 200 other plants, including mints, scented herbs, and even birch trees. Sometimes calls, it's sometimes called beta linalool, um, linal alcohol, linal oxide, and p linalool. It's anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties make it of special interest to endurance athletes seeking performance enhancement and faster recovery times. Um, okay, so that's just also saying that um, athletes can benefit from linalool just because it's something that's going to kind of help them push through that pain. It'll, um, you know, take it down, allow the push through. Okay, medical efficacy. Um, while linalool delivers a wide range of benefits for patients, its core efficacy is relaxation and a reduction of anxiety in sufficient quantities. It can be used as a sedative and is helpful for insomniacs. 
Linalool has also been shown to be a capable treatment for Alzheimer's, the progressive brain disease that causes severe memory and cognitive problems. Um, so something I heard a long time ago about Alzheimer's was that they are saying that the use of marijuana can actually curve and, um, you know, kind of eliminate Alzheimer's. So kind of using myself as a personal case study here, um, a lot of the women in my family, we hit a certain age, we suffer from Alzheimer's and that's what happens. So um, several years to go, you know, granted I'm lucky. Um, using myself as an experience or as, a, as an experiment in the Alzheimer's category. So linalool has been shown to be a capable treatment for Alzheimer's, the progressive brain disease that causes severe memory and cognitive problems. When administered properly by a medical professional or experienced caretaker, linalool's sedative effects are significant enough for it to serve as a tranquilizer and effective enough to help patients suffering from conditions such as severe psychosis. This terpene also serves as an analgesic, anticonvulsant, antidepressant, and anti-inflammatory, making it a value in the treatment of diseases and conditions ranging from anxiety, arthritis, clinical depression, Dravet syndrome, dystonia, epilepsy, and fibromyalgia. Okay. Um, you know, that's very interesting. Um, I know that um, a few people here locally are working with like strain specific treatment. Um, I know a company has came across um, like XJ13 as being good for epilepsy. Um, I'm wondering if maybe you know some of those Kushes or some of those strains, um, God, even Afghani, that are really really high in linalool might be something good. Um, any processors out there or anybody that has the ability to um, you know maybe maybe work on something really high in linalool and follow along with that for an epileptic patient I'm definitely um, that's good knowledge for me to have so let's uh, let's go back to this other one here that I started with from Syria Naturals and um, this just has a little section what does linalool treat um, linalool is a natural sedative Linalool has been long used in traditional and alternative medicine alike. Um, linalool treats anxiety and depression. Numerous studies mice have shown lower levels of anxiety and depression like behaviors when exposed to linalool. Um, epilepsy. Linalool blocks receptors for, brain, for a brain chemical called glutamate, which can cause epilepsy in excess. Um, okay, awesome. Pain. Linalool can reduce pain in several ways by targeting acetylcholine, the brain chemical responsible for muscle movement, by reducing excitability of spinal cord cells that pain, um, transmit pain signals to the brain, and by increasing the brain's level of adenosine, which controls heart rate. Um, uh, MS patients, you know, that are looking into medical marijuana for treatment. Um, strains that are really high in linalool and carophyllene um, are, are looking to be a good way to go. Um, stress in rats, linalool has been found to activate the body's parasympathetic response, also known as rest and digest system, which conserves energy, slows your heart rate, and regulates stress levels in the immune system. Um, Alzheimer's disease, we don't have a cure, but studies point to linalool as a potential treatment since it can reduce the plagues responsible for brain degeneration. Um, opioid addiction. Studies show linalool makes recovery easier and could even reduce death if more people could access dispensaries. Um, really, really big numbers here. Um, I haven't looked at the opioid numbers here for Oklahoma, but I know that there are studies that are showing that Alcohol sales are down 14% since we opened our medical program here. Um, I know a lot of people personally, uh, as we are in a state that is huge in the um, opioid and, and just meth drugs in general, um, 
I talked to people every single day who were put on 15 medications by their doctor and are down, you know, are, are off of 11 of them and are on a zero of their opioids um, thanks to medical marijuana. So um, again, strains um, high in linalool and I think the other terpene is going to be myrcene um, that's really good for addiction. We'll get into that when I get into myrcene, but definitely linalool is showing to be good for addiction. Um, here's some just popular strains as well um, that you can go to. Granddaddy Purple is one that's great. Um, Granddaddy Purple is good for sleep. It's good for um, stress, pain, insomnia. Um, it's going to make you a little bit hungry, so I don't granddaddy that much unless I'm going to bed. Um, let's see. LA Confidential is another one um, that's usually pretty rich in limonene, amnesia haze, um, lavender, uh, or I'm sorry, linalool, usually rich in linalool is going to be your amnesia haze, your lavender, your LA Confidential. Um, all dispensaries have the test results on hand. You should be able to ask your bud tender. Um, and they should have the knowledge. If they don't, you can always direct them to Canatory on YouTube. Um, definitely happy to assist in any way that I can. And um, if you wanna know what Oklahoma's doing, I finally figured out how to get into that Facebook link. If you type in Tories Canna Collective, that's T-O-R-I-S, Canna, C-A-N-N-A, Collective, then um, type that in on Facebook and it should pull up. Uh, it's uh, just several of the several of the firehouses here in Oklahoma that are growing that fire. All right, you guys, thanks for checking out Terpenes 101 on Lina Lul, and have a great day.